Thank you. It is my pleasure to be here. Uh, uh, you asked me to talk about some of the very good gender mainstream projects. I did uh, task manage one of the projects in Bangladesh. It's called Coastal Women's Electrification Project. Initially, we went to uh, the coastal areas of Bangladesh, which is uh, a lot of islands with no electrification. So we thought we should start from that area because these people have never seen electricity. It will be a really good thing for them as well. The benefit will be much higher than working in the urban areas. So we went to this island called Chor Montaj. It is in deep of the Bay of Bengal. And when we are discussing with the local people, the, uh, the men, the women, everybody, everyone discouraged us, uh, men, particularly the imam from the local mosque, the local leaders. They said, women's places at home, looking after the households. Why would a woman go out and uh, be a service provider with energy? But anyway, we persisted. We sort of selected about 32 women. We interviewed them. And then they, we tra later on, 25 women were actually selected. And we trained them in, uh, into how to really be an energy service provider. The objective of our project was basically to transfer the technology to women. What is happening in the world, if you see, there is a whole lot of technology. But technology remains in the hand of a very few people. It never goes down to the poor people for their own use, use for their own benefit. So here we try to change the situation to have women to have the access to all the technology so they can learn and use it for their own benefit. To our amazement, the first five lamps were bought by the local mosque. Because you don't understand if, if in a dark area suddenly you bring modern lighting, it is such a novelty. You can see the difference between bad lighting and good lighting. So everybody was interested, but because the people in the locality was poor, they were not able to buy too many. So the NGOs also came forward in this project. They provided microcredit through which poor people were able to buy the lamp because the upfront cost is a little bit higher. So they took microcredit, they bought the lamp and the battery and they paid off over the years. And once the women started in this micro enterprise with a small um, uh, battery and lamps, later they moved into the solar home system, which is much costlier than the uh, battery system. And they started building, constructing e equipments and others, and slowly most of the coastal areas are actually now using the solar home system. One thing I'd like to say that right now we see the ESMAP provided them with the seed money, the seed capital to set up the enterprise and then the technical assistance that the Bangladeshi, the women engineers actually provided them, the technical know-how, the first step. And what we actually did, I think it worked very well, that we networked these poor village women with educated women from uh, the cities. Uh, because there was a lot of barriers these poor women were not able to overcome. So they actually network with like university teachers, the women engineers from the Atomic Energy Commission and together they learned different skills. They also went to different places which gave them a great self-esteem that they are able to do that. So this kind of outreach program is also useful for the rural women that there is if I need assistance, I have those people out there who are their supporters. And finally, the NGOs were a uh, great support the women themselves. They provided um, them with microfinance and other services and helped them get the market information and uh, the whole uh, services to other areas. And they have actually scaled up, as I said. Uh, this micro enterprise now is, you know, 
very much sustainable enterprise. The women started with like zero income. They didn't have any income themselves. Now each of them makes like uh, 3,000 to 5,000 taka, well above uh, the poverty line income. They made a very good income for themselves. They send all the children to school. They have much better health. All the social indicators actually improved a lot. And one good thing that I've seen that they are really diversifying, which is really surprising. N now they started because this is a coastal island. There is a lot of fishing trawlers that come, come and get energy services from them. They are actually going to build their cold storage and ice mill uh, so that they can sell ice and also store the fish that the fishermen are bringing. So they are going to provide this kind of services. So they are really diversifying. The impact in the coastal islands, I would say, I mean, direct beneficiaries, if you tell me, it will be about 2,000 households. They are the direct beneficiaries of this project. But all right now, they are making equipments of all the solar home systems in Bangladesh. So they actually are able to capture the other solar home market as well. And they are providing um, all the fishing trawlers and others. So their direct beneficiaries are a whole lot. But I would say the most beneficiary are the women themselves, the 25 women who started the process. And they really showed us that what women can do just because they are poor and maybe less educated and vulnerable. But with technology support, with right kind of skill development and right kind of support, they can actually change their own lives and life of their community. And it, it was an amazing experience. The lessons from this project actually was taken up in the larger rural electrification project, the $200 million project that the World Bank is financing in Bangladesh. Before there was like zero solar home system in Bangladesh. But when the government saw and the NGOs saw that how this enterprise is able to provide solar home system to the poor household because the upfront cost of solar home system is very high. So if you provide like uh, microfinance services, the, even the middle class or poor families are able to afford it. So NGOs also came forward right now like 100 thousand households they get solar home system from the main project in Bangladesh and recently the bank actually I saw in today's newspaper the bank actually signed uh, two projects with NGOs uh, this is from the carbon finance from the banks from the GEF finance actually is going to Bangladesh the carbon finance so it really expanded well and the whole project actually got uh, replicated in Latin America, in Africa region and most of the South Asia, particularly Afghanistan, Pakistan and Rajasthan because they have a lot of uh, sun in that area. That's a desert area but very, very little electricity though they are using that, uh, the whole, uh, they are replicating the model in Bangladesh.